All right, thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Joe Melillo. Here's the latest from WENY HD News and the Star Gazette. This morning, search efforts continue for the missing Cornell student Christopher Dennis. As, we re as we've reported, the 22-year-old hasn't been seen since early Wednesday last week. We're told Dennis took a canoe out onto the lake sometime between 4 and 5 in the morning. His friends found a boat capsized in the lake later that day. Now, the search for Dennis continues until 1 this afternoon. Dennis's family has planned a memorial at 5 o'clock. That's at the North Pavilion at Tughannock Falls State Park. And for updates on the on this search, please visit searchforchrisdennis.wordpress.com. Tawanda Borough Police are still searching for a man they say tried to murder someone. Police sent out a call to help the help to the public to locate them. This man, 25-year-old Blake Diefenbach, from for, for assaulting a 55-year-old man. Now, the man suffered serious injuries and was sent to Robert Packer Hospital. Blake was seen driving a beige or tan Dodge Caliber with Pennsylvania registration HNC 1016. Police received a tip that Diefenbach was actually in South Creek Township area, but when police responded, Blake had apparently left before they arrived. He is considered armed and dangerous. Well, today is about honoring those who have served, and a local veterans group wants anyone driving through Chemung County to remember our veterans all year round. Shimon County Veterans Monument Incorporated wants to build a monument to honor Shimon County vets near I-86. Now, the corporation has settled on a design, but they need a place to put it. Unlike other memorials, this monument will honor all veterans living in the seats from all periods of war, from all branches of armed services. Directors hope for the site near the airport corporate park south near Spur Park in Big Flats and are working with county officials. Now, the design includes a large white star on the ground that people can actually buy the bricks for and a five sided column representing the five branches of service. Now here's meteorologist John Hickey with today's forecast, John. Well, it sure is a chilly start to your Memorial Day, but it gets better as we go to your afternoon. We'll see it warm up very nicely under the abundant sunshine. So I'm calling it a Memorial Day gem. Finally, our winds have quieted down, and with the sunshine, we'll cook it up to a 5-degree guarantee up to 73 this afternoon. It's a transition day tomorrow, though. We'll have a lot of clouds as a warm front will be draped across the Twin Tiers, and we'll see the showers arriving in the afternoon. The good news is we get to the warm side of that warm front for the end of the week, and the heat is really on. It could be our first heat wave of the season. Remember that a heat wave is defined as at least three days in a row of 90-plus degree temperatures. We could do it. Thursday into Saturday. Future track for today, though, no 90s here. High pressure in place. That's a cooler area of high pressure, so we'll see highs this afternoon coming up to the low 70s. Watch what happens as we put future track into motion tomorrow, though. We'll pause it for you in the morning. We'll pause it for you at 8. Notice we're starting to see an increase in the cloud cover, and we're really going to be stuck in the clouds tomorrow. But as that front lifts to the north, not only do we, do we see the clouds, but we'll see the showers, and we'll see some showers and even some thunderstorms on Wednesday. But by Thursday, we're back to the sunshine, and we're really back to that 90-degree heat that we had last week. Check it out here on your 7-day forecast, 70s to 80s to 90s, and it potentially turns stormy on Sunday. That's your forecast. Here's Joe. Thanks a lot, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY HD News at 536 and 11. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Joe Malillo. Have a great Memorial Day, everyone.